Hi everyone, this is the second video of our Kafka test automation series. In the first video, we have gone through the basics of Kafka, what are the different components which are there in Kafka. In this video, we will do a setup of Kafka on our Windows machine. Okay, so the prerequisite is that we need to have Java installed. <coughs> Minimum version required is 8. Preferred one is having Java 11. Okay. After this, you can go to the Apache Kafka website and download the recent version of uh, Kafka from here. I have taken this uh, tgz file and downloaded this one. Once you have done this thing, just double click on, uh, double click on this tgz file and go to File Explorer and here just copy this folder, paste it. it uh, paste it in any directory of your choice. I have placed, I will place it in C directory. Go to the folder and let us see the folder structure. So here we have bin directory. Under bin you will find this cell commands which are for Linux but as we are on Windows we'll go to this window directory here you will see all the bad files okay so we'll do the setups in this particular directory but I just want to show you the config directory as well so in config I'll mainly discuss about this key raft and this zookeeper so there are two ways of setting up uh, the Kafka one is using Zookeeper and the other one is using Kraft. What are these? Uh, like, let me open this flow diagram here. So, in the previous videos, we have seen that we have uh, here we have all the clients related things, side a producer or consumers, and here we have server related things. So, all the server related metadata it used to be uh, handled by Zookeeper previously. Now, the Apache Kafka team they uh, they found some you can say limitation in the zookeeper way of doing things and they have come with the uh, new uh, way of doing this metadata handling which is using kraft okay so that's how like for us like these two information is enough for the basic setup like there are two ways either kraft or zookeeper way so i have here demonstrated both the ways but as the Kraft one is the latest one, I'll use that one. But just to touch base upon this, uh, once we are in Kafka directory, uh, in Zookeeper, what we used to do, we used to execute the Zookeeper server start bat file and then uh, use the config from zookeeper.property. So we used to run one extra service, which is Zookeeper service. And after this, we used to uh, we'll execute our Kafka server using this config server dot property. So if you will open this config directory and go to server dot properties, you will find it has the zookeeper related information. That's how like Kafka server will execute using zookeeper. But now the Kraft way of doing thing is using this way. Let me do this. So what we are doing here, we are just setting up the Kraft mode. Okay. So let's go into the bin windows directory and let's start setting the Kraft mode. So for setting the Kraft mode, the first command is to generate a UUID. Once the UUID will be generated, then we will set up a variable. Let's wait for a couple of seconds. So UUID has been generated. Now let's copy and paste this UUID. Okay, and then the third command is we need to set up 
the kraft storage so we are using kafka storage pad then we are passing the variable that we have just set and then we are passing the config file for server.properties within the kraft folder oops i think i by mistake entered correct so yeah okay so you will see this message formatting metadata directory so here by mistake i entered this uh, correct so i had to remove that and once i did the execution here i could see the directory has been set up next command is we'll start the kafka server using the kraft server dot properties files <clears throat> okay so kafka server has been started in the meantime let's see the next uh, creating a kafka topic so for this the bat file is kafka topic bat and then hyphen hyphen create is for creating uh, hyphen hyphen list is for listing the created topics uh, to see all the topics but yeah hyphen hyphen topic then you pass the topic name and then hyphen hyphen bootstrap server localhost 9092 this is your broker on which this topic will be created as we are executing it in our local so we'll use localhost and then partition one we are assigning one partition here so let me execute this command so we need to open another command prompt so that we do not end up terminating our Kafka server and whatever the topic name that you want to keep let me take the topic name as test topic and then we'll once the topic is created we'll view the created topic by this list parameter here so we are using the same bat file hyphen hyphen list and then using the broker name here to list all the topics which are created within that broker this is the command and so here you can see the topic has been created let me list the topic here so here i should see this test topic you can see here if you will create another topic let me create the topic one <coughs> so now we shall have two topics you see we have two topics on this broker now the third uh, the third thing here is to produce the messages okay let us see how we can produce the message on a given topic so for doing that you can execute kafka console producers and dot bat file and here just pass your topic name so for me the topic is test topic And you will see an arrow sign after that you can start printing your messages i'll say message one message two message three and i will terminate the bat file now to see the messages which are published the command is this one now we are using kafka console consumer bat and then passing the topic name and just like before we have the broker name here we are having from beginning that means we want to read all the messages oh i gave the wrong topic name i need to adapt it let me do that
I should see three messages here. Okay, so you can see the three messages are there. Consumer is still running. So as the consumer is still running, let us try one more thing. Let's see the message generated in real time. So I'll generate message four, message five. I haven't terminated the producer and if we see here, we have the message in the real time. Okay, so this is the message. So here we are producing the messages here. We are consuming the messages. So if we see message six, we are producing the message six here and here you can see the message six has been printed in the consumer. So this is the basic setup of the Kafka. So in our next video, we'll see how to use test automation to connect to a topic as a producer, generate some messages, check whether the messages has been generated on the topic and then read the messages and assert certain things on the message which has been generated. Okay. So that's all for this video guys. See you in the next video. Thank you.